Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to today's video. Today I have with me two very special guests. This is my friend Aria from boarding school and her lovely friend Brooke. I will put both of their handles and social media etc below. I am so excited to have these two on my channel. Aria, I've known for a hot minute yeah. and Brooke, I just met you today. I know and we've connected so fast. Absolutely. I'm like so glad that I met. Me and Brooke are actually going to be doing a whole little series and collabing. Yes. She is a I'm channel too. I'm so excited for it. You guys have to stay tuned. Yeah, absolutely stay tuned for an announcement. So that's really exciting. Um, today we are going to be doing a little truth or drink um we are filming this after we got ready so you can see that there was a fair amount of um much more before no i'm not i am not drunk so we're basically just going to do your basic answer the question or take a sip of the wine and at times sometimes both we're just going to First question. Ooh. We're starting off strong with Aria. Ooh, okay. What is the worst date you've ever had? Okay, honestly, <laughs> I'm gonna take a drink just before it because it was a bummer of an experience. <laughs> I feel like I know what it was. It's my freshman year of college. He invites me to this like place with drinks that's like pretty expensive. Like, I'm not gonna say the name because like we don't need to do that, but like we get there and I'm like, okay, like. And the first thing he says, I'm like, I haven't even sat down. The hostess leaves us. And he's like, what's your last name? Oh. And I was like, that's weird. I was like, okay. So I was like, Klein? And he was like, what is that? Like, like where is that from? Like, Klein, like what? Like, religion or like, where is that from? And I was like, um, I mean, like, I'm Jewish. Like, I don't know. And he was like, oh, interesting. Oh? And I was oh. like okay throughout the whole meal he's saying like super anti-semitic things <gasps> towards me no mm -hmm. Cough. Mm -hmm. and i was like really uncomfortable right so he finished the dinner and he's like we should go back to my house and i was like okay like i don't know i'm fucking young i'm stupid we're in the car his brother calls him or something on the car phone he like answers he's like yo i'm like with this jewish girl right now the brothers the are singing not. Fiddler on the Roof in the car. Oh my fucking god. I'm so uncomfortable. Like, can he be more uncomfortable? Can he be more I uncomfortable? So. I was like That's really scared so... at this point, right? What? I'm like young, I'm like scared. I'm like, uh, don't like this. We go back to his house, he's like, we should watch comedy. And I'm like, okay, yeah, like, I love comedy. It's like light in the mood, whatever. The entire YouTube series that he shows me oh, no. is bashing disabled people. So this happens. Right? We're like in the middle of this episode and I was like, hey, honestly, like I really want to go home right now. Can you please take me home? He's driving me home. We're listening to like techno music in the car and I was like trying to make the mood light. I was like, oh, like I love techno. Like I really like this one club. And he was like, oh yeah, that club's a gay bar. So I would never go. And I was like, what Wow. We're just checking all the boxes. Yeah. So then we wow. get to my car. We're at my car and I'm like, oh my God, yay. We're at my car. Like I'm going to fucking get out. And I like go to open the door. Great. Yeah, I go to open the door. He grabs me and starts making out with me. And the whole time, like, he's like, you're so small. Like, you're just like a small little Jewish girl. Like, he's talking to me like this. I was so fucking horrified. Oh. Looking back at it now, I'm like, Aria, like, if you are ever in that situation again, like, you fucking push that guy off you, you get out of the car. Okay, so he's like kissing me. And I was like, please, like, I was like, get off me. I, like, open the car door. I'm like, I'm going. And he was like, well, I'll see you later. And I was like, probably not. And then I went back to our dorm room, right? We're like fucking fresh in the closet. And I call Brooke. And I remember like sobbing to her in Aww. our fucking common room because it was like the most horrible experience. I was ready to beat someone up. I, it like, was such really a was. scary date. It was really, really Anyway, take terrible. another drink for that. Terrible. So that was Ouch. Jesus, Aria. That's awful. That was awful. Starting off strong. This is mine. What makes you immediately swipe right? Ooh, that's fun. Immediately. Ooh. I feel like it's got to be like a combination of things, right? Totally. <laughs> if he looks like Greg from The Bachelor. Like, <laughs> like that'll do it, you know? Yeah, like there are a lot of things that like help profile. They went to like a nice good school. Like I like that. <laughs> we value intelligence. We value that. But honestly, like if he looks like Greg from The Bachelor, like that's the immediate swipe right. <laughs> he could like have gone to, I don't know, University of Phoenix. But if he looks like Greg from The Bachelor, then like he's getting a swipe <laughs> no, right. Okay, okay. I love it. All right, Brooke. Yours me. next. What oh, makes God. you immediately swipe left? Oh, 
if he has a picture with a fish. fish. Okay, I can so your profile it. picture. Yes. I'm sorry. I don't care that you can catch a fish. That doesn't really impress me. That doesn't make make me think that you're like a man or something. No, I know. Um, that also just immediately makes me assume that you're racist. Well, and like that's really unfortunate that like you don't know that that is awful. You know. You're kind of just like out of touch. Yeah, with, you've got to be out of touch to like, put a that, fish picture 100%. in your profile. Next question for Aria. What undergarments do you have on? Oh, I just have underwear, which is un rare. It's rare. It's just it's rare. But I have underwear on right now. It's, it's cute. Rare. It's red. It's going to match my dress, which you'll see later. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, I feel like this is so stupid that it's true to drink because I just have no, like, shame about anything. So I'm not going to drink at all. Just drink right now. I know. I might just talk. Well, I think, like, this video will just be funnier for our little tips here. Okay. What's your most intense physical altercation is my question. Um, you know, I've only really ever been in one physical altercation in my entire life and it was in middle school. I was in sixth grade and there was this kid, um, Kaden Noddings, Kaden, if you're out there, sorry about this, um, but no offense, you were being a dick. So we had this math teacher, Mr. Sikulski, also shout out Mr. Sikulski. And this kid, Kaden, was just like making fun of Mr. Sikulski, literally right in front of him. And it was just so rude. I was so mad because poor Mr. Sikulski was just not standing up for himself. And he was just this like grown ass man that I guess he lived with his mom because his mom was sick. He was like taking care of his sick mother. Oh, but this mean kid is like, Mr. Sikulski is like never gonna get married. He lives with his mom and he's an adult. Like he was just being so mean. And so Ew. I was like, Kaden, shut up. And Kaden's like, what are you gonna do about it? And I was like, I'm gonna slap you. If you say one more thing, I'm gonna slap you. And then he said one more thing and I slapped him and I got sent to the counselor's office. So, Girl. sorry about that, Kaden, but like really not that sorry to be honest. I mean, honestly, he deserved it. <laughs> Brooke. What sex act are you best at? Dude, I take so much pride in my head. I give great blowjobs. Good. I do. I, I like really go for it. I used to not like doing it at all, but honestly, I've gotten really, really good at it. And it's fun. I like it is the fun. reaction. It is fun. When like, you know that you're like doing a great job and like, yeah, you know what I mean. Aria, hmm. what is the hardest drug you've ever done? Um... God. The way you could have drank. I mean, I, I'm already drinking. <laughs> What's a lie you've told recently for me, myself, and I? Um, I'm so totally cool with this. That's a good lie I've told recently. Dude, just drink. <laughs> Don't even like. Come on, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm great. I'm good. She does. I'm just drink. <laughs> There's no lies I've told recently. I'm, I am completely cool and chill with everything going on all the time in my life. Next question. <laughs> What's the worst sex you've ever had, Brooke? Oh God. I feel like if I say his name, it's really, really mean. You, can't, you, you can can't drink, you could drink, but if you don't drink, you have to say his name. Cause it said who? Just drink, honestly. I'll drink. I'll, I'll, I'll let the kid not be completely embarrassed, but it, let me just say, just didn't, it was the shortest sex I ever had, so. Ooh. Aria, mm -hmm. when was the last time you faked an orgasm? Okay, it wasn't recently. It was, it was a, it was a minute ago. Go ahead. I feel bad, that guy was so nice. Like four yeah, it was like four months now ago. Now it's like four months. Um, okay, next one is for me. What is your favorite trait about yourself? A guy recently, Told me I have firecracker eyes. Ooh, Ooh like, that's that's. Mm. I was like, I like it. I, I like, like that. that compliment I like a lot. So night, you know, he was like looking at my eyes. He's like, you have firecracker eyes. I said it like twice. So I was like, mm -hmm. mm, thanks, babe. Ooh, Appreciate okay, that. Okay, okay, that's a great compliment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna choose my eyes. My favorite trait. Brooke, what's your guilty pleasure? Honestly, the one that I give in to the most because I'm like kind of lactose intolerant and i just like love brie i eat Ooh. it all the time even when i don't have enough money to buy it i'll just like find a way that's a really good guilty pleasure yeah no i just ugh. it's like also tame i like it yeah <laughs> it's one of more the more tamer answers yeah how many drinks do you have a week <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, i hate they ask question. you with the doctor i hate this question she's like why i don't know i don't know guys today i've already had <laughs> 
I've only had three drinks so far today. There we go. Beautiful. Depends on the night. I could down a whole bottle of wine. Have you ever run from the cops? I guess, kind of. In high school, there were like a couple times when cops were called on parties. In fact, that night, do you remember that night that we were just talking about? That party. <laughs> do you remember the Facebook post afterwards? I died at that party. That's all. <laughs> so I was like 17 um, and that was one of the one of the craziest nights of my life. Yeah, but um, we I guess we ran from the cops that night when they got called in the party. We did. Uh, have you ever been kicked out of a bar, Brock? Um, no, I haven't, actually. <laughs> Good, beautiful. Yeah, I haven't, so. We love the answer. Honestly, I'll take a drink to not being kicked out of a bar just because I want to take a drink. Yeah. Beautiful. We like drink that. Drink that. Aria, mm -hmm. what is your least favorite sex position? <laughs> I'm just going to drink. <laughs> I just like having sex. Okay, my turn. Who's most likely to black out? Um, tonight? Aria. <laughs> oh, it's so rude. I'm the oldest. I can handle it. Brooke, who's most likely to settle down? Honestly, I mean, like, I could say myself or you from what the conversation that we just had earlier. Mm -hmm. Like, just getting to know you. I'll say myself because I've been dating a guy for like three and a half years. True. So, you've got um, it together. Yeah, but like, not looking to get married anytime soon, just like living life. My vibe right now is just living life. I am yeah. just here to live life. <laughs> I was just there living life. You can't say we didn't live life. But like, committed to a person, you know? Okay, Aria, um, what is your most embarrassing hookup story? It's gotta be juicy. This is like kind of funny, but one time I hooked up with this guy. I'm a Leo, just so you guys know. And I like, I'm doing the whole one night stand thing. It's like dark. I'm like trying to find my clothes. Obviously didn't find all my clothes. So I just like grabbed <sighs> a random t-shirt. Like get this Uber. And like, you know how Uber has your name? I don't know why this was so embarrassing, but I get in the car and this Uber driver was like, Aria. And I was like, yeah, it's like Sunday morning, like 7 a.m. Like I'm, I'm in a random dude's t-shirt. Like this is clearly like a walk of fame. And he was like, Aria. You are this lioness. Like, you are from the jungle. Like, <gasps> you are vibing. And I was like, You were vibing. Yeah. Okay. I'm like so hungover. I'm like so young. I'm like, Nice. Anyway, that was pretty embarrassing because later I had to end up getting all my clothes from the guy. Yeah, that's funny. That was the embarrassing part. But it was pretty fun not getting hyped up by the Uber driver. Oh, I have a question. What would you tell your younger self? Like, now that Ooh, you're here and you I are like living, that. like, what would you tell your younger self? I would tell my younger self that she should be far more open about asking for what she wants because I think when I was younger, I had so many more insecurities or not even so many more insecurities. Like I've got insecurities now, but like when I was younger, I just didn't have the confidence to be like, oh, I am an awesome person and therefore I deserve to ask for the things I want. Dude, that's so real. And you like, should. Yeah. Now I'm an adult and I'm like, oh, I'm cool. I'm deserving. Yeah, I do. And I wish that like my younger self had been able to ask for what she deserved, you yeah. know? I love that. I really like that. Okay, Brock, you're a new bartender. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm just curious, like what's the best drink to make? Okay. So I work at a dog themed bar restaurant. So oh it's called God. Fetch. And uh, all of our drinks are named after like dogs. A mimosa is called a Mutt Mosa. <laughs> and uh, we have like cucumber collie. The cucumber collie is so refreshing. It tastes like a cucumber like spritzer type of thing. And it's like sweet, but it also has like Saint Germain in it. And um, you mush up uh, cucumber, mint, and you muddle it in the um, shaker first with ice. And then you add the Saint Germain and the vodka. And then you add champagne on top. It like really gets you good and it's super refreshing. So if you're ever in Warwick, New York, go to Fetch and order the cucumber collie. Okay, so we've finished up our makeup. Now we're just gonna go get dressed for our little night out.
and now we're all dolled up. We've got our little fits. We're heading to dinner for some Mediterranean food. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe to my channel. Give the video a thumbs up. You can also ring the bell if you would like to be notified of my upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful week.